Hey guys, what about with TV? So today we're checking out an amazing video. This will be how Andrew Tate found Allah. Guys, Andrew Tate, I know he has been banned from all platforms, guys, but like he's an amazing guy. Like I love what he stands for, to be honest. I love it. Like he's the big G guys, guys. So we're checking this out, guys. This video is actually sponsored by Kui, guys. They made this video possible like guys i'm with the outfit right now guys and i tell you i feel comfortable like the outfit is super dope i'll be opening some videos soon please check it out my community page guys Koi is an amazing brand that offer you when i mean quality guys like they offer you quality mixed with affordability so you check them out guys the store link is going to be in my description below and you're going to get 15 percent off of when you buy a club from the store like it's crazy so check them out guys guys today Let's get straight into this. Why did you convert? I said, I don't really think, feel it as a conversion. I, it's almost like I knew God was real and now I've become religious. And they said, well, you were religious before. I was like, religious before how? Christian? What does Christian mean? Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Go into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The girls are out on Saturday night drinking and they turn up to church because their parents made them. Like there's, there's no substance to the religion. And also, Islam very closely reflects my personal beliefs. I, through my personal life. Please, guys. I know people are going to say I'm not listening, but chill. Like, I just have my own opinion to say. I feel some Christians actually do that. People who are being forced to the religion. Don't get me wrong, guys. But, like, people who found Christ on their own. Like, people who know who they are worshipping, they don't actually do that, though. I'm just trying to clarify it, please. Because I know, when I see something that I, that disapproves my belief, like, I, I really want to try and let you know the truth. Like, we're all after the truth here, guys. Because I feel that some Muslims are actually still do drink. There are some. But you, you can't just say... Muslims drink. It's very, very, it's not, it's not, it's tiny proportion of maybe, let me say, the 0.1% of them that actually take drink. Maybe those of them who don't really know the religion, maybe they are in the religion because their parents are in it. Like some Christians, there are some Christians that are actually in the religion because they will grow up like that. So they just follow what, they just follow it blindly. I, I can say I was like that before before i actually started knowing god and the holy spirit and jesus but like i did another research and i'm still on that research so like i feel you can actually blame some people though they don't really know what they're doing they were just brought up that way from their parents so like that fear isn't there because they haven't have that kind of one-on-one -on -one, like they haven't have that kind of communication with god so you need to get on that level to be able, you know, this, in the Bible is written, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So I feel when you're able to fear God, you're able to know that. God said do not drink. Like, when you fear God, you won't. So guys, I just need to clarify that point though. Guys, let's get back into this. I've learned that if you don't have standards and you're not a strong person who's prepared to defend his ideas, you will be crushed. Yes. And we look at most religions in the world today which are not prepared to defend their ideas. What's happened to them? They're just getting crushed. And now we have Christianity as an idea which has basically said, well, we can't set any firm rules because everyone will just quit. So instead, let's make it so easy to be a Christian that nobody has to put any effort in. Yeah. And then accept everybody no matter what. And hopefully we can keep the church doors open. <laughs> That's not, that's not yeah, God yeah. to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. God to me is, is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something, someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. God to me is someone that you have to go out of your way to prove something to. God to me has red lines. Yeah. Like God to me re represents the Islamic faith. The Christian God to me, I don't see God. I, yeah. I can't explain, I don't see anything there. So yeah. to me, it was, it was the only logical choice wow. in the end. <laughs> Zayyan, <laughs> 
مسكن الكواكب وحفظا من كل شيطان مارد لا يسمعون إلى الملأ الأعلى ويقذفون من كل جانب دحورا ولهم عذاب واصب إلا من خطف الخطفة فأتبعه شهاب ثاقب فاستفتهمهم مشد خلقا أم من خلقنا إنا خلقناهم من طين لازب بل عجبت ويسخرون وإذا ذكروا لا يذكرون وإذا رأوا آية يستسخرون وقالوا إن هذا إلا سحر إذا متنا وكنا ترابا وعظاما إنا لمبعوثون أو آباؤنا الأولون قل نعم وأنتم داخرون فإنما هي زجرة واحدة فإذا الذي كنتم به تكذبون احشروا الذين ظلموا وازواجهم وما كانوا يعبدون من دون الله فاهدوهم الى صراط الجحيم وقفوهم انهم مسؤولون Guys, before I start, just tell me what you feel about this in the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this. Just before I like, pause the video and tell me what you feel. Like, don't let me contradict your own opinion about it. But I feel Andrew Tate is is correct in some way because I, I can say some some. I don't feel Christianity is. Don't worry, don't please don't say it. I, I just have to try and support Christianity because we're Christian, so let, let's do that. But I don't feel Christianity is a religion that you can mock the God. Now, nah. there are a lot of people that have mocked God and died, like, died mysteriously, that died, like, that died, like, terrible death. So, I, I feel God is wise. That is what I, I know God is wise. You, you can't actually do things and expect to get repercussion. And this one thing I say a lot on my channel. You can't be a Christian because you're a Christian and it said that Jesus died for you, so you commit sin. You're gonna get repercussion back, bro. Like, there's. You must pay for everything you do. Even if that sin won't take you to hell, but you still have to pay for it in some way. Like, your, your deeds have consequences. So. He gets me. But what I was saying, guys, like, I love the way Islam actually carries the religion. It, their God is here. You, you can't insult Muhammad and go scot free. Like, I can remember there's a video that actually trended in Nigeria, I think. Like, again, so Ted Muhammad and she was killed in school. That was crazy, though. But I feel they could have, like, I don't think she deserved to die because she insulted him, but it just happened and it was terrible. The sight of it was... You see, I think those kind of Muslims are not the kind of Muslims that watch my video. Those are different kind of Muslims that believe in another belief. And I feel... It's not it's as broad as Christianity, you know. You know, there are some people who are civilized christians as people who believe in the faith and know killing is wrong you get me so it's crazy it's but i love the way you guys fear your god like the respect is there like 
Christmas is practical, but I feel we don't really show it as much as you guys show it. So, guys, tell me what you feel about the video, guys. Tell me if Andrew Tate was wrong or he was right. Tell me the way he was wrong or he was right. Guys, we'll see you next time, guys. Please make sure you check out Koi, guys. The mate test possible. Guys, we'll see you next time, guys.